I just watched a video by Carlin Borisenko agreeing with Tim Poole that on Twitter, if you dumped all the anonymous people with anime avatars, then you would have a much higher level of discourse. You know what the problem is with you, Carlin and Tim? You know why Carlin and Tim Poole, you know why they're not very popular anymore? You know why they keep going up in sub counts, but more and more people are haters on them? Do you know why they have this problem where all these anonymous people go after them? It's not just that they're a bunch of people that hate their opinions because people are going to hate opinions. It's because they are becoming the thing that they hate. They have come full circle. So let's talk about this anonymity thing, all right? Let's understand why anonymity is important in the first place. You can't say certain things if people know your identity, because people will judge your identity first. They will judge you based on who you are, what they know about you, or what they think they know about you, what other people say about you. They will judge your words, not based on your words, but rather based on your identity. The problem with these people is that they don't understand why anonymity exists. Now, they claim to. They even go over some of it. It's almost like they've got this dissonance where they understand anonymity, but they still think it's a bad thing, even though they know why it's not supposed to be a bad thing. They don't seem to get it. It's like <laughs> something in their neurons just isn't quite connecting. They, they, they've lost it. The reason that anonymity is important is that you can't dissent from popular opinion without being canceled. It is a risk if you say something contrary, and these people know this. But here's where it becomes a real problem. Here's where it goes from just this simple issue of anonymity to what specifically, especially, Carlin said. Carlin was saying that when you have these people that are anonymous, that they're making discourse worse, but then that, oh, she gets it, she understands why people won't don't want to be putting their names out there, why they don't want to stick their neck out and get it cut off. They understand she understands people have jobs and homes and stuff, that people need to continue to be able to live their lives while they're opposing this stuff. But then she's like, What well, why why don't you just speak up under your own name? Guess what, Carlin? We can't all do that. We can't all just stand up for everything we believe in under our own name. And oh yes, oh you don't have as much money as Tim Pool. You don't have as much clout as Tim Pool. You have a huge platform. You have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. You have tons of people that watch your stuff. You make a lot of money from YouTube. You make a lot of money through YouTube. You are well supported. You have as many people as there are that dislike you, there are people who like you. Same thing with Tim Pool. As many people as there are that don't like him, there are people that like him. There are people that give both of you money. There are people that watch your videos. There are ads that run on your stuff. I don't know, I have ad blockers on everything, so I assume there are ads that run on your stuff. You've all got Patreon or Subscribestar. You've all got these subscriptions, Super Chats, whatever. You're all making tons of money on YouTube. More money than I'll ever make on YouTube, most likely. And you're standing on your ivory tower, looking down at me, and saying to me, Mr. 1100, actually, I think I'm almost at 1200 subscribers, you, over 100,000 subscribers on your ivory tower, go, little peasant, little peasant who needs their job to be able to live, little peasant who has controversial opinions, and if you would just express your opinions, everything would be fine. I have shielding against being harmed by cancellation due to the decentralized nature of my financial support. You little person with your centralized financial support, you little person who does not have the platform that I have, you stick your neck out and get it cut off. And I, in my big ivory tower on the YouTubes, I will gladly say that I support you. But the second that someone cuts your neck off, the second that you suffer, for backing your opinions up non-anonymously, the second that you tying your name to your controversial opinion, to your not-so-public opinion, does something to harm you directly in your own life, Carlin Borisenko and Tim Poole are not giving money to you. Carlin and Tim have the ivory tower. They have the big platform. They have the large megaphone with which to shout at the crowds below. Whereas some schmuck like me at 1,200-ish subscribers, 
I'm not making much money at all. I, I don't even get a payout from YouTube on a monthly basis because I make so little from what little ad revenue I do have. I'm not going to be able to support myself through donations and YouTube revenue and merch. It's not going to happen. I have to live a life. I have things I have to pay for. I have stuff I have to do. I have adult responsibilities. And my first priority is to take care of my personal responsibilities. And those responsibilities are not to stick my neck out for your cause because you say it's okay because you have the platform to do it now. And you have the ivory tower. And you can yell to the peasants what they should do. You are a person up here who's using the people down here to do what you want. And there are some people down here who are happy to do that. But you've lost touch. You're both out of touch with reality. The problem is that you used to be a little person too. But that was a long time ago. You've forgotten what it's actually like to be someone who, if somebody comes after you, if somebody really starts coming after you in earnest, manages to get you fired, manages to cut off your source of income, or to get you in trouble with people, to cut off your ability to advance your career, or get your YouTube channel banned even, you, you have forgotten what it's like to be this person. And in doing so, you really lost your ability to speak to the little people in this way. It doesn't work. You know, you, you, you take as hot, but you take as suck. Uh-uh. Anonymity matters. Get over it. Learn. Grow up. You're not going to tell us what to do because we can't do what you do because we are not in your ivory tower. So maybe you should come down and hang out with us in the mud. Come on, it's fun. Get your anime avatar strapped on. Uh, Roblox 69420. Let's have a party. But we're not your servants. We're not your personal army. <laughs> like 4chan, we're not your personal army. So, yeah, that's it. Anonymity matters. Don't listen to these people in their ivory towers. They've lost touch.